Well, greetings. Join us. Uh, I would do these. Uh, I can do these live now, uh, but the other one's going live, so I don't want to have two things going live at the same time. I got, got enough problems with YouTube as it is. So, all right. Uh, thank you. I want to post your questions. All right, blessings uh, for Stephen. You talk about one of my my uh, past lives. Hmm. No, one moment. Well, I see a werewolf lifetime that you're healing. Uh, it's an alternative version of Earth. Uh, I feel like that's one you're still uh, battling against, it seems. Uh, and you can say it's in a it's two different time frame is not making itself clear by time period. I'm going to say it's modern. But it feels like there's another one that's not. Like it was in the Middle Ages. Uh, something to do with anger issues and, and shapeshifter. And like poisoning. Like you, like you got poisoned and it kind of brought out the darker side of you, you can say. Something like that. That's, that's what I see. Uh, any messages? I uh, see you connecting to Sirius. Um, yeah, you say connecting to your higher self, healing, multi dimensional self. Um, see how I have canine energies again that you're uh, unlocking, unfolding. Uh, I just feel like, well, there's Egyptian connections here. So it feels like it goes into. The deep history of the earth, the canine and the human in the past. Just integration with canine and human. Um, like some humans are dog people. So, I want you to connect with that. You're not going into details at this moment. Uh, Carol, any messages for me? I see you connecting to Archangel Michael. Healing your heart chakra, uh, healing the uh, future timelines, uh, bringing bringing Mother Mary in when it's necessary. I see you connecting to a fifth dimensional Earth also, um, by bringing this Earth to a fifth dimensional reality, assisting with that with knowledge. And uh, I feel like you're building like a, an astral garden uh, for people to understand themselves. Second question, are there any messages uh, for me from Prime Creator? You feel like there's a multi-dimensional side of yourself that you're still uh, healing. It, you've been a moon in your previous incarnations. So you're, you talk to the moon uh, astrally here. You brought a lot of energies here that are yeah, questionable for people to learn from, but also for them to be healed. It's like you bring a like somebody that's hurt to a hospital, you bring souls that are out of control to a world that can rehabilitate them. Uh, Anna, uh, last night my cat Merlin was attacked. You know, was, it was attacked by another cat from a neighborhood. But that happened, and my okay, what well, am Merlin out? He constantly wants to go outside. I'm worried about him. Is he supposed to be an indoor cat? No, it feels like outdoors is good. He can handle it. I mean, attacks happen all the time. I mean, I mean, maybe not to him, but uh, it's territory situation. So he's got to duke it out. You got to let him do his thing. You know, I think he'll survive. Eventually, that cat will let up, but he, they're not getting along, as you can see. Uh, what is the message from Jesus to me? Uh, I feel like you're healing your heart chakra. Um, and this, um, I see a lot of uh, lifetimes in France that you're, uh, this, you're healing. Just one, yeah, and I also see the guillotine too. I don't know if you got, I don't know if I mentioned that with you, but I just see guillotine time period. Uh, so you yeah, had some friends that were guillotine. I don't know if you were or not. It's not sure on the map, but. That's one of the reasons of the injustice of the world. You're not, I mean, it's nothing new, right? 
but it's another reason why you come here to bring justice. There's more to it than that, but it's part of it. Marianne, uh, any messages? Uh, once again, I see a lot of Syrian energy. I see it with you also. Uh, for new timelines, uh, you can say reversing timelines of uh, that work that causes uh, hardships, mischief uh, on our, re our reality. So I do feel like you're bringing a lot of Yeshua's energy of the pure sense, not the manipulative version. It's a pure sense of helping people find themselves. Um, in Atlantean lifetimes, too. Hoping more of that to come through quick. Second, uh, any messages from Yeshua? Um, yeah, it seems like it's one you're in a line, you in line, you have an alignment with Yeshua to know more about your higher self past lives, but also those that you wish to heal. Um, so you're becoming a healer, uh, in an unconventional way, in a way that's right for you overall. So, yeah, just whatever method that you choose. Any messages from Archangel Michael? Well, it seems uh, it shows that you're step, you're stepping, putting your foot down. Uh, you're taking more control of who you are, your energy, and to connect with others, and to bring more of a positive energy to others. It's just that you're you're getting more confident of who you are. Any messages from my guides? Yeah, if you're you come to this timelines can be very you know, lifetimes can be very harsh or even judgmental themselves. I feel like you're an angel energy that's assisting time-wise to be a little bit easier on some people, at least where it's necessary. Uh, you just, you're here to ease energies by other angels here to make it hard for everyone. You probably feel a lot that way yourself. Now, Genium, any messages from main guide? Uh, you're going more into... Um, uh, yeah, the Android realities. There's many multiple Android realities that you're connected to. I do see a a Android reality where you're activated by your like a master, but you're activated too soon. So he didn't always know that you were activated, meaning you're watching and hearing things, but could not interact. You weren't moving, something like that. So I just leave it at that. That's a weird one, but any messages? Prime creator. Uh, just for work situation, just know that will work itself out. Uh, take your time with it. There's not a lot of work out there, but you'll make things. I think you also possibly get more money through Canada or something like that if you want to. Uh, uh, symmetry. I woke up with a headache today. Is it getting worse? And it's getting worse. It was. Uh, I feel like he got abducted recently. I feel reptilian is there also. So. So can use that. <laughs> uh, and Donna, listen to Swan Bella, another channel. Her. This son was killed on a motorcycle July 29th. She has no answer. Can you see anything? Well, is this time to go? I mean, it feels like it was an attack, but uh, from the astral realm, but it was also this time to go. So, yeah. Just, she needs to find her own answers. Yeah, you can say what you want, but she's hurting, so it's a very vulnerable time for her right now. Uh, we have the uh, got the mini donkey. We're calling her a uh, wheezy. <laughs> he told me if she's pregnant, she is terribly lonely. If she is pregnant, we'll keep the baby. If not, we'll find a home. Any thoughts? So she isn't. No, uh, she's all right. I mean, she has you. She's not that lonely. I mean, you're there. So, yeah, I mean, she was lonely from the past. Yeah, but you're there, so she's not so lonely. I don't know if she's pregnant. Take her to the vet. Don't think I can see on that. I don't think so. But, you know, you can always take her to the vet or, or if you're a vet. Um, I'm not sensing it, but I could be wrong. Amy, I've had two... I have two plants sitting on my kitchen near the window, and they're all the same type of plant, but one of them is huge, and the other one is barely gross at all. Do, do either one of the plants want to say anything to me? 
but they're at the size they need to be. Well, one is taking the energies, and they're both type taking in different energies, so they're exactly where they need to be vibrationally. So, yeah, they like your energy, they like talking to you. It's okay. It's healthy. What does my cat, Indy, do when she asks for travels? Does she help my son? Oh, she helps you and her son. Uh, it just clears out ghost energies, mostly. Or dimensional energies she also pushes off a lot of uh, even other cat energies. Um, I know some other felines. Like alien felines. Keep the things less dense. Yeah, it seems like you have a past life of dense feline energies, what I see. Uh, Miguel, I've had trouble sleeping lately. Any messages? Yeah, it's just the astral world is is I would say falling apart, but it's intense. It's going through an intensity because of a lot of the politics going on in the world, things like that. Just I don't know, find something that where you can think about to tire yourself out, whatever it might be. Need something that can uh, put your brain brain to sleep. So something. Um, any messages from oh shit. Uh, I can't pronounce it. Mushy and the five rings. Uh, it's energy feel. I feel like this energy is coming from India. Uh, it's just a healing a healing ring, of course, but it's, it's a multi-dimensional energy that takes you to the higher realms to know more about yourself and what your mission is here. Just for you to uh, this show you as a white knight, and they show you to forgive others, but also to push on your journey into the the edges of who you are. Your, you know, push yourself to your, to your limits, not to where you're going to, you know, go crazy, but you are here to push yourself to your limits in a positive way, you can say. Uh, Eric, N, do any rabbits have any messages for me? Um, yeah, they're multidimensional energies, just there to. Calm your energies down. Uh, I see volcano energies that you're... Yeah, just the... Uh, you say the eruptions from astral. It's just the... Uh, there's a lot of lower realm energies that you're healing at this time. Uh, within yourself, within others. And you're here to bring out a more positive energy through, your, through who you are. So yeah, they're here to help you find your darkness and find your light. Mathis, have any messages for me? Uh, yeah, you fought a lot of them in your past. You also became brothers of them. But some of you still fight because some of them want your energy, they want your knowledge, uh, they want your mind. <laughs> Don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> um, Moses, does my higher self have any messages for me? I feel like you're putting together uh, pieces of who you are and healing a lot of... Uh, yeah, you're putting the pieces of who you are, as you know, and go as far as you can. Uh, yeah, with well, then Will, uh, I like to know my past Anunnaki emperor was my name. What was my name and fame? I don't think they're going to give a name, but you were, yes, and uh, yeah, as an emperor, uh, I see the Incas. Uh, Anunnaki uh, controlling or controlling. Well, either way, over the Incas. I just see the Incas. I know it sounds strange, but it seems to be a part. Yeah, I just see Incas everywhere for you. Um, I'm not sure if you connected the Incas at all, but that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're getting a name out of these people, they might just give you a regular human name, but they're. Miles, uh, have any messages from my higher self? Uh, you're bending realities. You're going more into a higher dimension version of you. Uh, you see a lot of uh, tree energies are connected to you. You're getting more connected to the trees of who you are, you know, the Mother Nature energy. So I see you connected to the sun and astral to get answers about yourself. That's not always me. You're, here to, you're trying to change timelines, as you know. So, abundance timelines, you're going into the sun to do that. I'm not sure how well it's going. 
feel any messages from any, uh, any being currently around me. Um, Andromedans. Uh, they're healing a lot of insectoid energies around you. You've been kind of taking over, not taken over them, but you've been a target of them at one time. Um, yeah, do the Pleiadians have any messages for me? Um, Pleiadians. Um, just take one day at a time. You're still uh, you're still healing your higher self. So like you and your higher self have had some difficulties recently. Ask for manifesting what you want. Uh, do you see your mother's energy you're still healing at this time? And it's someone that you are still getting to know. I mean, spirits around me, light do you have any messages? Uh, just Arturian energies. You hear, uh, it's good to read a lot of books. It's, whatever it is, books seem to be what we will find in most of your, yourself. Uh, yeah, so literature is the energy that is you. Uh, Susie, what have I been doing in astral? Uh, let's see. And it's, they're not really showing anything. Um, yeah, there's a lot of blockages there. I just see with Trump at this time. Any messages for me? Yeah, just keep following your intuition. Uh, yeah, intuition, more good things are coming. Just, just keep going, going as you're going. Yeah, there's a lot of blockages there. Yes, I'm feeling Archangel Raphael's energy with me this afternoon. What messages or insight does he have to share about my healing overall? Well, yeah. Uh, just use yeah, just go by your intuition. It seems like there's much more that you have not fully tapped into or you want to see at all. I do see a lot of connected to um, Anunnaki of your past or ancient Greece. That seems to be a place that you're still healing from. I see a lot of past relationships that have been kind of difficult. Another connection to your health. If you get a broken heart, sometimes you hurt other places. What messages does Madeline I herself have to share that would help me to know at this time? Um, um, where are you connected to Archangel Raphael? Um, Michael, actually, that's more stronger energy. Feels like you taught Michael a great deal, also, and you're learning how to be similar to that energy. But you have too much to learn here. I mean, you can be similar to Michael in other realities, but you're still understanding your darkness here, which is good. There's no rush. Uh, Chris, any messages for me? I do see you do have a connection to Anunnaki energies. Uh, something to do about uh, rehabilitation for, um, yeah, for souls to live long, long lives, 300, 400 years, things like that. Seems like you're part of that type of energy. You just had a strength about you where you can connect to that. Vasco, any messages? Uh, I see a lot of uh, Martian energy that you're healing. Uh, there's a lot of Akashic records of Mars that are still with you combined, you know, you and Venus and Mars seem to be, of course, you can to other places too, but Venus and Mars, Akashic records that you're connected to. Basically, both of them have hostile connections with this world, like seeding the earth before other beings appeared here. And I see there's an angel energy here um, assisting that. It's like taking energy knowledge, bring into this world. Of course, there's other worlds involved too, but. Seems like something that you're, um, yeah, you have a mission here on an angelic level that has not been fully fulfilled yet. So you are, in the, you are on your way. Girlfriend has been feeling super depressed since full moon cycle began. Was causing, oh, we're all kind of going crazy right now. So all I can recommend is sleeping. Take not don't take an antidepressant, but take uh, I don't know something maybe vitamin vitamins. Try different. Uh, Vitamin C is good. Uh, orange juice is good. Uh, something that's orange juice is good. Something around fruits are good for her right now. She might think differently, but 
uh, cleansing her body, you know, of any toxins is good. I just recommend her to sleep if she can. Yeah, it's just, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, it's just the world's gone crazy. So, um, I don't know. Call on, it's hard. She feels like she's going to get like actually attacked, it feels like. So, and that's what you're there to clear that out. But I just recommend her just resting and just try to keep her sanity. It will all pass down. So, if she can. Pass. Um, okay. All right, everyone. All right. Thank you for your questions. Blessings in the back of all time.